Okay, this video is about proof by exhaustion. Uh, it's a very simple way of proving something, um, but it tends to be quite a long way of doing it. Um, basically, all proof by exhaustion means is you break down the problem into smaller pieces of uh, smaller things to test and then you test each one of them and prove that each one of those is true. So for example, um, prove that the sum of two consecutive square numbers between 100 and 200 is an odd number. Now I'm going to use proof by exhaustion to do this because well there is a limited number of numbers that I actually have to try here. There aren't very many square numbers that are between 100 and 200. In fact, let's just write some of them down. Um, so we've got 121, we've got 144, we've got 169, um, and we've got 196. That's it. So we've, I only actually need to test these four sets of numbers. That's it. So, be, so really, all I actually need to do is prove that for these cases here, this statement is true. It's the sum of two consecutive square numbers. Okay, so let's do the first two. 121 plus 144 is 265. That's odd. Okay, that seems to work. Right, 144 plus 169. Right, that is... 313. Yeah, 313, I think. Again, that is odd. That seems to work. Right, next, 169 plus 196. Okay, so that's going to be um, 365, I think. Uh, again, it's going to be an odd number. There we go, so, I've proved this by exhaustion. There was only a limited number of cases it could have been in the first place. I've tried each one of them, therefore it is proved. So I can now write a statement and say, uh, therefore the statement is true. Well, there's a limited number of cases uh, to do. Very simple. It can be a little bit more complicated than that because sometimes there's not necessarily to begin with a, a, um, a, set, um, a limited number of cases or certainly it doesn't appear that there's a limited number of cases in this example here. So we need to prove that all square numbers are either a multiple of four or one more than a multiple of four. So next we need to prove that for all square numbers. So it's not like the previous question where I could just go, right, well, I'll just test the ones that we're talking about. I need to test all of them. So how could this be a proof by exhaustion question? Well, remember what I said, I said that the proof of uh, by exhaustion is about breaking the statement into smaller cases. And there is actually a clue that that's what you're going to do in this question because notice it says either a multiple of four or one more than a multiple of four. So it's kind of showing there's going to be two cases here. So how could I break down all numbers into two cases? Well, I can just, maybe if I prove it for even numbers and then prove it for odd numbers. That way, that proves, that covers all numbers. Okay, and that, you prove by exhaustion. You break it down into two cases, prove one of them, prove the other one, therefore you prove it for all of them. So, if um, number is, if number is even, so I can write an even number as 2n. So if I, as a square number then, so 2n all squared, uh, well that's going to be 4n squared. Okay, and that's a multiple of 4. 
Okay, what about if it's odd? If number is odd, well then it would be 2n plus 1. If I square that, Okay, so if I square this, I'll get 4n squared plus 4n plus 1, which I could then write as 4 lots of n squared plus n plus 1, which is 1 more than a multiple of 4. And there we go, so we have broken all numbers down into two cases, even and odd. And then I've proved it for even numbers, and I've proved it for odd numbers. The clue in the question was written like that there. That's what allowed me to go, okay, yeah, I'm going to break it down into two cases. Um, there we go, that's proved by exhaustion. Most of the questions you're going to get will be like this, where there's a limited number of numbers for you to actually try, so you can just substitute each of them in, prove that it works. Um, if you get a question like this though, just think how could I break it down into two cases, and then prove it for each of them.